Welcome to Love Bite. My ex-boyfriend cheated on me more than 10 times and even gaslighted me so hard. It's already a big red flag that we met on the dating app, which I think is part of my mistake. We met several days in a row and couldn't meet for a long time because of being LDR. I believed him since he FaceTimed me a lot and we talked for more than 5 to 6 hours almost every day. I decided to visit him, which takes 10 plus hours of flight. Problems began from here. I was never there in my life, and the only thing I could rely on was him. But I saw suspicious notifications, messages, snaps, with girls' names. I directly asked him, and he simply replied, they're just friends, and I don't like them because they are ugly. But as he kept hiding his phone screen and tilting his phone while texting, I felt something was going wrong. So I decided to go through his phone at night. Eventually, I found out he was calling them cuties, my boo, and stuff, even sharing my photo with some of them. Long story short, I forgave him, in my own mind, even after we confronted some issues and had ups and downs. About a month later, we met again in my place, not my country, though. He stayed at my place, but he started to leave home and didn't come back, saying, I'll be working at the office. I tried to believe him, but nightmares came again. I found notifications from his ex and XS asterisk ex friends, and he said again, we're just friends. He literally said, you are SL asterisk T by at CH when I had to talk to male coworkers. Eventually, he found out he was still using four different types of dating apps and sleeping with other girls at the same hotel, like a fetish. He did this horrible behavior for almost two months. At this moment, I feel like I actually need mental therapy because I visited his home and found out he cheated again. So I tried to dump him on the last day of my trip, and eventually I had to apologize for being sneaky by NCH. After I came back to my place, we FaceTimed again as usual, and for the last big event, he blocked me. As I had to go to a business event where male humans exist, he called me filthy s forward slash forward slash ut and blocked me. Ironically, he called me again to give me a chance to save this relationship by apologizing sincerely. Stupid me did it again. I even shipped one piece of clothing of his that he gave to me and some snacks he liked, which cost $90 plus in total. It arrived around Valentine's Day and he said thanks for snacks, babe. After that, he never called me back or texted me. I kept calling and texting him. Sometimes the message didn't work, so it was sent as a text message. The message sent as a text message was, his name, hello? And he finally texted me back, hi, after a few days. I tried to call him, but he canceled it right away and even turned off his phone. He has shown me sexual stories and pictures with his ex-girlfriends, and he once proudly said that he has ghosted some. And I became part of them. I know I acted foolish and blind. God gave me so many chances to run away, but I ignored them. Actually, there's nothing to do with my story, but I just wanted to shout it out somewhere. Now I can't believe someone who's saying, I love you so much. I hope I can fix myself first and find a safe love. Thank God that I wasted only six months with him, not six years. Dear viewers, if this situation happened with you, what do you do? Comment me. Mm -hmm.